subtraction by costing out the ink, uh, the cost of the black ink for this job. Per the problem description, 9% of one sheet of paper is covered in black ink, so we need to ask ourselves the question, what is 9% of 475 square inches? 0 0.09 times 475 inches squared, or square inches, is 42.75 square inches for every one sheet of 19 by 25 paper we're going to run through the press. We're printing 125,000 press size sheets, so multiply 42.75 times 125,000 sheets to get a total ink coverage area for black ink of 5,343,750 square inches. That represents the ink coverage for all of the sheets in our job. From there, we can calculate the total number of pounds needed by taking the total coverage area and dividing it by the ink spread or the coverage area for one pound of ink. For our problem, that's 20,000 square inches for every one pound. So 5,343,750 square inches divided by 20,000 square inches for every one pound of ink means we need to purchase exactly 267.1875 pounds of black ink. However, we don't purchase part of a pound, so we'll round that up to the next whole number. We always round up to the next whole pound. So we'll purchase 268 pounds of paper. Um, sorry, pounds of ink. Once we know how many pounds we're purchasing, we can multiply that times 6 because that's the cost of our ink. It's $6 for every 1 pound. So 268 times $6 for every 1 pound means we will spend $1,608 on black ink. Once we've calculated the cost of all of the ink for our job, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, we can add or sum the values together to get the total ink cost for this job. Cyan was $6,240. Magenta is $14,610. Yellow is $1,962. And black was $1,608. When you add them all together, we will be spending a total of $24,420 on ink. If you were able to get all of those answers correct, please move on to the next video and calculate the total cost for press impressions. If you did not get any of these right, or if they are confusing for you, please contact me during open office hours or online chat hours, and you're always welcome to come to any in-class time we have for Art 1210. Um, we have open labs every Thursday, and everyone is welcome to come.